Hello my beautiful Cancers, welcome to my channel. This is your favorite fortune teller, Divine Light. Today I'm going to do a coffee cup reading for the lunar eclipse, which is on May 5th. In the last video, I kept saying March for May and um, maybe there is a message for you there. I'm not, I don't know, but I don't really know what I, why I kept saying March. So you know, maybe Spirit is talking through me about something. Take it how it resonates because these are all general readings. And by the way, only 20% of you haven't subscribed. If you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's free and uh, that will be a great support for me. All right, now let's get into your reading and let's see what's coming your way for this uh, lunar eclipse. I'm not going to just do a time period. I'm not going to give you a time period right away. So this is going to be like an intuitive time period. And here I see a path opening up for you here. I feel like this is going to happen in seven months. This is something in the works. Okay. Uh, you are actually getting in touch with a lot of different people to do this trip. Okay. This might be like some things like you're going to go out and somebody, somebody's going to come towards you. I look, I see like there's a person, there are two different people here. There is a male figure, there is another male figure, and there, there is a cup here, okay? Cups usually symbolize emotional fulfillment. There's another two cups here in tarot. So this might be some people, they're actually going to be your wish fulfillment. They're coming towards you, and they're coming towards you with this offers. Uh, I said they, but they can be the same person, just, it's just, you know, the on a movie script, you know, the, the movie film the things the, um, the scenes actually repeat themselves so this can be taken as a movie uh, film and like when i look at it that way this looks like a ship getting closer and closer towards you and whatever this ship is just the sails here this person is your wish fulfillment okay can be a romantic thing doesn't have to be can be something or someone that you have been expecting to arrive or maybe like you ordered something it's been taken a long time Six, six months is a long time, but this can be also six, seven weeks as well. Uh, but you're going to receive this person with this gift. I get to hear, okay, um, in the beginning, what I see is, I see a scales here, but the scales are missing the things, the plates that is supposed to be there, okay? And there's a person here. This person is watching over you. They're probably admiring you. A secret admirer because they are in the shadows. Uh, they're not very clear, 100% showing up. So this person might be actually making their mind up to communicate with you. Because right above their head, I see this huge line of communication. Okay, I see these lines as... And these are interpreted as phone lines. You know, back in the day, uh, they used uh, like some countries might still have it. Um, they use these phone lines in between cities. Okay, they just uh, just put the um, words and just the lines just went through in between cities in order to provide communication. So that's why these lines are actually symbolizing those lines, and uh, he's he or she will be communicating with you, contacting with you really soon. In your heart, I see a little like a big fish here. You're manifesting maybe large sums of money, and I feel like that is actually coming your way. But in the bottom, you see there's a ring here. Okay, it's a, a little bit empty in the middle. This can be commitment coming towards you. Someone might be coming towards you with a commitment, or doesn't have to be romantic. Can be like a a committed relationship, a friendship, or a workplace. Like maybe you want to start at a company that is big and like very fruitful for you. This is also showing up here and um, probably going to appear within maybe 12 weeks or 12 months. 12 months is a little longer period. I feel like it's going to be very soon coming your way. Okay, I see here a path, but this also looks like a lightning strike as well. So I saw the same in Gemini reading. So if you guys have Gemini's on your chart, go ahead and watch it. So this might actually resonate with you. I see another man here, okay? But this reminds me of like, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen Da Vinci's self-portrait. Uh, it reminds me of that. So I'm going to interpret this as a person who is very knowledgeable, 
who's actually going to be contacting you or maybe traveling towards you from a short path, okay? And right after that, I see this legal paper appearing here. This can be a legal accomplishment that you're going to be achieving. And um, this is actually like three months or so. You're going to be achieving this thing. Uh, whatever this thing is, it's going to be finalized on your behalf. And I also see a person just here standing on this bed branch a tree branch so trees usually symbolizes um, establishing yourself starting something for the long term okay uh, and uh, because trees are actually basically they are immortal uh, whatever this is that you establish can be actually some like a form of immortality for you okay maybe like a, it's going to be a very long term financial support for yourself or maybe a home that you're buying or maybe a business that you're establishing or maybe even store like a small shop that you're going to be start doing but it's going to be very long it's going to have longevity and i actually see here a shopping basket okay maybe something that you're going to be buying there is a little seed growing here. You can see the leaves. Okay. And there are actually people showing up here. This looks like a seed growing. Also, there's a person here with a hat. And there's another person here handing them over. This might be a travel that you're going to be taking and meeting with this person. The hat it seems like it's coming off. So this person might be someone who's retired from a traditional job. Maybe retired from military or someone like that. And uh, you're going to have an exchange with this person. Okay. Uh, this exchange is actually going to give you another break. And I see a rooster in between you guys. With that, maybe whatever this information they will give you, you're going to have this awareness. Awaken, awakening okay whatever this is that you're manifesting whatever this awakening is it's going to be actually like here starting a new day for you starting a new lifetime for you okay i see you communicating with a lot of different people here and right here you're holding on to this rooster you're holding this rooster and uh, you're surrounded by a lot of people and you have a big fish on top of your head so maybe whatever this is this brand new thing is going to help you manifest this big time of big money you know and on the bottom on your like you're standing on top of this you know this um aries i want to say this is a sign of it looks like a bull but it's not actually a bull it's just a st um, not a stag so this remind me of the symbol of aries and this is actually the symbol of aries so this might be an aries in your life or who's going to show up in your life and he's lifting you up so whatever this is that you're manifesting you want to accomplish this person is probably going to show up and help you with the accomplishment and i see like two fishes here as like the yin yang and it reminds me of your little sign like here okay so this this might be like you meeting with another person like you and there's a person's face appearing right there so this person eyes are not showing so might be a little bit blind to whatever is going in in their environment and he just reminded me the the uh, mouse and the nose remind me of Eckhart Tolle I don't know if you guys know him and he's a little bit like that I feel like when he's like telling talking about something I think he's channeling the information that's why his eyes are not working okay so this might be that kind of a person I reminded me of Bashar uh, Bashar also closes his eyes when he's channeling. I don't know if you guys know him either. It's just his name is Daryl Anka. And he has great messages about manifestation and, and other things. So if you're into these kind of things, I recommend it. Go ahead and watch him. There might be a message that you are going to be receiving from him as well. Moving forward. <clears throat> excuse me. I see this turtle here. You're grabbing the turtle right there. You kneel down your hands. The turtle is here. And uh, this turtle might be... Okay, I'm going to interpret this. It just sounded like this to me, okay? Turtles usually indicate homes, houses, and this kind of things. And maybe you're just going to move to a new place. Or maybe you're going to find this house that is actually needs a little repairing. That's why you're grabbing the turtle Okay, I never seen such a thing before. This is like you're literally pulling the turtle out of this darkness. Okay, so this might be a home project or something like that. Doesn't have to be 
a home can be like a property project that you're going to be actually putting your hands into that you're going to start fixing these things and there's actually a rose behind you so i feel like whatever this is that you're manifesting is actually your uh, heart's desire you really love to do it you really love to put the energy into this kind of a thing and uh, this will be appearing around like nine weeks i said but maybe nine months would fit it better uh, but you will never know when you can manifest something that you really desire that's why i really don't want to put a time period on that okay so i see another person here standing okay and uh somebody else is right in front of them there's a face right there okay focus there is a person with a small face right here there's another person they are having a conversation there is like you're grabbing this thing there's a legal paper so you're probably going to have like a contract or something to buy that thing and there are two people here there's a contract in between them but they're they form a v so but they are actually in separation Whoever these two people are, might be two people working in a company, splitting their own ways, but you're going to be victorious because they look like V, okay, at the end. For you, whatever they are doing, whatever the, their um, result is for you, uh, you're like, no matter which way they go, you will be uh, actually manifesting like the, the victory. I see a letter U here and there's a letter T. Also, this looks like an H to me. This might be in the first name or the last name of those people or might be there in their, uh, you know, the company they're working. There's another T here. And this also looks like two people hugging or maybe one person is dominating the other one. So this might be another situation that you're going to be getting into. Well, I don't really know which one is you, but uh, be careful about those kind of things. There's another peacock here. You can see the head right there, the, the little feathers on their head so uh there might be like a very uh beautiful person like i said in the beginning doesn't have to be appearance can be their heart as well is actually uh looking over the situation maybe they're going to give you a hint and what to do so you can actually be getting out of there smoothly i see a key here the key has a person's head this person's wearing a crown can be someone who's a leo because leo's kind of like a um have royalty energy so this person is actually giving you the key of maybe success how to get over the situation how to um you know you're going to be the ones getting supported so how to uh, get uh, out of that uh, situation easily Okay, guys, I'm going to get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, just hold it in your mind. And let's see what the answer is going to be for that. Alrighty now. Okay, there's uh, there's a split here. Again, I saw a split at the end. And there's a split here too. In your heart, you want this split to happen. Okay, and your desire is actually coming towards you really fast. There's no time left okay there's another peacock showing here so maybe i don't know maybe you have somebody in your life who looks like a very uh pretty person but not and there's another this split up to another thing another uh, accomplishment that you have been manifesting and they're both actually coming towards you really fast okay and this peacock might have a letter l in their name and uh these two people are standing and discussing something. There's somebody standing in the middle, okay? I see you actually have this harpoon. Maybe this is a fish that you want to catch. and um, But in order to catch that fish, first they need to take a break, whatever this is. And I see, like, this looks like a crescent moon with a face to me. Okay, so this might be moon signs. Um actually whoever like someone's moon sign might be a uh, cancer also uh it speak to me it just reminded me moon reminds me of the high priestess a uh, high priestess from tarot someone who's very knowledgeable but very quiet okay they're actually appearing right here so this person might be actually showing up for you and uh appearing and you're gonna have some discussions and maybe back and forth i see here a dolphin and dolphin usually indicates um like uh, maybe um uh, 
not maybe they uh, they are very fun and entertaining so this might be but this dolphin looks like a little sad to me so maybe you want to have entertainment you want to have fun with this person moon um like there who's uh sign is moon cancer is moon yes you are moon guys so like um this might also be you let me interpret it this way this is you okay and you want to have fun with this person but something is actually breaking you apart but no matter what happens eventually you're going to get what you want right here you see you're getting whatever you want eventually you're actually manifesting all of your desires okay no matter what their attitude is all right, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.